As we look at the threat picture in Europe over the next several years, the Russians have invaded Ukraine. They have not stopped, and they've also conducted a range of gray zone attacks in and around Western Europe. So the Russians present a formidable threat over the next several years. Hi, I'm Seth Jones, Senior Vice President and Director of the International Security Program at CSIS. And I'm here to talk about my recent report with Seamus Daniels, Katrina Doxey, Dan Feta, and Kathleen McGinnis on forward defense, strengthening U.S. force posture in Europe. This report examines U.S. force posture in Europe, and there are two important parts to summarize. The first is that the U.S. needs a robust, long-term military force posture in Europe. And the second, it needs that posture because the Russians present a formidable mid to long-term threat in Europe. The importance of the timeliness now is we are now entering the third year of the war in Ukraine based on the Russian invasion. In addition, there's also been an expansion of NATO to include Finland and Sweden. And then finally, there are lots of questions about whether the U.S. should even be involved in Europe in a meaningful way. There are questions about the importance of NATO. So this is timely for a whole range of both international and domestic reasons. We believe the United States should have a what we call four plus two posture in Europe. That's four U.S. brigade combat teams, including a newly permanent stationed armored brigade combat team in Poland, along with two divisional headquarters, one in Germany, one in Poland. As we look at the threat picture in Europe over the next several years, the Russians have invaded Ukraine. They have not stopped, and they've also conducted a range of gray zone attacks in and around Western Europe. So the Russians present a formidable threat over the next several years, and that's why the U.S. cannot simply abandon Europe, and that's why NATO is important, because Russia, with Chinese, North Korean, and Iranian support, presents a serious threat. The broader context of the report is that the U.S. needs to be concerned about several regions. It's got to be concerned about Chinese activity in the Indo-Pacific, Iranian and other activity in the Middle East, but it also needs to be concerned, as its European allies are, of Russian activity in Europe and a threat that Russia poses to the United States and Europe. Freedom House has come out with a recent report saying that there have now been 18 consecutive years of decline in democracy. That has to end. To read the full report, Forward Defense, Strengthening U.S. Force Posture in Europe, please visit csis.org.